wrappers, more lost items, and applications, all in the first episode of 2024. Hey Wildcats, if you are a sophomore or a junior and are planning to apply for National Honor Society, this is your reminder that the deadline is coming up. Remember, in order to be eligible, you need a cumulative unweighted GPA of 3.5 or higher, at least 20 hours of community service from first semester submitted to the CVS form, to be a member of three different school activities, teams, or clubs, and finally to have two teachers fill out the character reference form. Once those are completed, you can fill out your candidate form, which includes a 250 word short essay about how you would be helpful to the National Honor Society. You can turn these in right here in the counseling office in the tray by the front door. These are due next Friday, January 19th by the end of the school day. You can find all of these steps and more details in the NHS application procedure packet by scanning this QR code. Members will be notified of their acceptance in February. Have a great day Wildcats. The Crochet Interest Group will be meeting Thursday, January 11th from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m in room 160. They will be making snowflakes. You need to bring white yarn and a hook if you would like to attend. Hey Novi, unfortunately one of our students has lost an item. It is a photo card album that looks like this and it was last seen in the bathroom in the art hall. If anyone finds this item, please return it to the Cat's Eyes newsroom in room 154. Have a good day Wildcats. Hi guys, I am with Coach Halsey today, our head basketball coach, and today I'm going to ask him about how does he feel mid-season. Uh, mid-season as a program, we're doing great. Um, varsity is six and three. Uh, JV is, I think, lost one or two games, and freshmen are the same, have lost uh, twice. So as a program, we're doing really well. All the boys are playing hard, practicing hard every day. Um, we had a couple games over break, which we all did pretty well, um, and we're excited to continue with our league play starting this week. Okay. And and when is your next game? Our next home game is tomorrow. Our next game is tomorrow at home against Canton. And then uh, for Thursday and Friday, we play Northville at the end of the week. Um, Thursday, our freshman and JV play Northville after school at 4 and 5.30. And then our varsity team plays Northville Friday night at 7.30. All at home. Thank you. Welcome back to who is Novi's favorite rapper. All the results are in for round one and we are now ready to start the semifinals. But since Jayden is not here, I have some other people to vote. Alright, so game three we had Post Malone versus Eminem. Who do you think won that? Eminem, probably. I would have to say. I mean, he's just like an icon. Yeah, Eminem, probably. Sure. With 80.6% of the votes, it was Eminem. Your guys' favorite song from Eminem was Godzilla, and your favorite album was The Marshall Mathers. Game four, Playboy Cardi versus Lil Wayne. The only reason I would say Playboy Cardi is because maybe not that many people listen to Lil Wayne, but I'm still gonna go Lil Wayne just because he's also like a pretty iconic rapper. Yeah, I like Cardi, but I think Lil Wayne probably took that one. With 58.2% of the votes, it was Playboy Cardi. Wow. <laughs> yeah. From Playboy Cardi, your guys' favorite songs was Magnolia, and that was tied with I Love You, I Hate You. And your favorite album was Whole Lotta Red. All right, so game five semifinals, Travis Scott versus Kanye West. Well, this is pretty difficult. <laughs> I would say Travis Scott. I think that if I were voting, I would pick Kanye. But I feel like the school will probably end up selecting Travis Scott. To be fair, round. No way you would pick Kanye over Travis Scott. <laughs> I would. Pick, I, I would pick care. Kanye West's Kanye. music. Kanye's music oh, is better than Travis Scott's music. Well, like during round one, Drake and Travis Scott and Kanye and Kendrick Lamar, those polls were literally like 1% difference. It's really hard to predict semifinals for those, but I'll see you guys on Friday for the results. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. Thanks, Novi, for watching our first episode of 2024. Tune in tomorrow.